Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, on launch day for the iPod Nano 5th generation, you know, the one with the video camera in it, I made a video and reviewed it and checked it out and put it through its paces and everything like that and people enjoyed that video and liked that video, but I only ever really get one question, a stream, ever since that video went live, a steady stream of the same question coming in over and over and over and over and over again. And this is a very easy thing to do, but it's not especially intuitive, which is why I'm making this video to help you guys out. Now the question is, how do I get video off my iPod Nano up onto YouTube or into an editing suite or whatever you want to do with it? So I'm here to help you out. So let me grab the Nano here. There we go. Now step one, obviously, this is for the complete retards out there. Plug it into your computer. Real, really easy. So you plug it in, it'll sync up with iTunes or whatever you've got it set to do. Then, this is the, there are two ways to do this. I'm going to show you both ways. The first way I'm going to show you works on Windows and Mac. Doesn't matter, works exactly the same way on both types of machines. The second way I'm going to show you is the simplest way, the easiest way, the less complicated way, the, the two-click way. And that only works on a Mac because it works with iPhoto. Let's get to it. Second step, after the Captain Obvious first step of plugging it into your computer, is to pull up iTunes. Click on the device icon in the column on the left, and on the first tab, the device summary, under options, make sure you have enable disk use checked. With this turned on, it allows your computer to see and mount the iPod as if it were a thumb drive or portable hard drive or any other kind of removable media. Once that is done, you can swat away iTunes and from your desktop, finder window or explorer window, you can then open up the iPod like you would any normal disk. From here, you just need to navigate to the DCIM folder, just like any other memory card on a camera. There'll be another folder nestled inside, and once you open this, hooty kazooty, look at that, all your recorded video files just sitting there waiting for you to copy or move them across to your hard drive. And then you can either upload the files directly to YouTube, just like any other video file, no fuss, no muss, or you can drop them into some editing software to work on them further. You can even play and preview the videos right from the iPod, so you can just grab the ones you need. The second way, which is a little bit more elegant and is Mac only, is to simply launch iPhoto once your iPod is connected. And as soon as you launch it, it will detect the iPod Nano and bring up a list of all the video files you've recorded. From here, you can play and preview your videos. And just like any other camera you hook up, you can choose to either import the whole lot or just the ones you have selected. And of course, you can organize your clips by giving them an event name and description to make things easy to find within iPhoto. Then bash the button and away it goes. Once more, just like a regular camera, are you sensing a pattern here, folks? iPhoto will ask you if you want to keep the files on the device or delete them after you've imported. And here we are, your selected videos all imported, filed, organized, and stored in the iPhoto library. You can then use the inbuilt functionality here to go to Facebook, Flickr, or you can just drag and drop the file right onto your desktop or any other folder if you'd want to edit them or upload the raw video file to YouTube. It's as easy as some kind of very easy pie. So there you go. Wasn't that simple? Wasn't that easy? Wasn't that completely painless? Slightly awkward? A little bit roundabout way? You'd think Apple, long known for trying to make things as easy as possible for people, would come up with a simpler way to do that. Just, you know, a button in iTunes, for instance. But no, you've got to do it that way. But hey, at least that way it's simple. Once you know what to do, it's simple. Catch you next time.